Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a chipmunk, which was another request. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this one, the size is 17cm by 20.5cm or 6 and 3 quarter inches by 8 inches. This medium chipmunk crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5 mm hook is 10.5 cm by 14 cm or 4.25 inches by 5.5 inches. This small chipmunk crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 mm hook is 9 cm by 11.5 cm or 3.5 inches by 4.5 inches. I'll be using Katona today, so the size will be a bit bigger than this one, but I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton today. I've got the 110 black, 162 black coffee, 179 topaz, 383 ginger gold, 106 Snow White and 254 The Moon Rock. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, I've got a stitch marker, sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and scissors. Now we'll start on the head. So I've got my 254 The Moon Rock and I start with 8 chain. For row 1, I miss the first stitch and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, we put the hook into the stitch, the second from the hook, and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. So a single crochet in the second stitch as well. And then we work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then we work a single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. Then we work three chain. For row two, we work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And a single crochet into the last chain. Now we're going to work on our main piece, so we turn it around and work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. 
we'll have 12 stitches. Now we're going to join in our darkest colour, the 162, the black copy. I just make a loop and put it on my hook and pull it through the loop on my hook and pull the moon rock tight. And then I work four chain. For row three, I work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Then I work one single crochet into each remaining chain and each stitch on my main piece to the last stitch. I'll work two single crochet in the last stitch and I'll have 17 stitches. So after our initial two single crochet, work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet in the last stitch. And fasten off, and we can fasten off the moon rock as well. Now I'll be back with the 179, the topaz, and we'll work this next row. Now for row 4, I've got my 179, the topaz, and I work 2 chain. I work 1 single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then I'm going to join it to my main piece by working 1 single crochet in each stitch along to the last stitch. I'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have 19 stitches. So I'm joining it on this end here where I've done the chain, not the end where I fastened off. So this first stitch here and then a single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch.
For row 5, we're going to join in the moon rock. So I just put a loop over my hook and bring the loop through the other and pull it tight. And I work one chain. And I'm going to work one single crochet into each of the 19 stitches. But I'm going to crochet over the top of this tail here just to make one less to have to weave in. So one single crochet into each stitch. We've got 19 stitches. And that's the first five rows done. For the next row, we're going to be joining in some of the other colours. So I'll get my black coffee, the ginger gold, and I'll be using the moon rock as well, and the topaz. So I'll have them ready because I'll have the four colours going in the next row. I'm going to join the 179, the topaz, to the second last stitch worked. So this stitch here and I work one chain I work one single crochet in the same stitch as a chain. Now I'm crocheting over the top of the tail of the topaz. And I work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now I'm going to join in the dark colour, the 162, the black coffee. So I put my hook into the next stitch. I'll leave that one. I'm not going to crochet over the top of that. And I bring up a loop. And then I'm going to work one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. So I'm crocheting over the top of that tail as well. Next I'm going to join in the 383, the ginger gold, this colour here, and I join it in the same. 
I put my hook into the stitch and bring up a loop of ginger gold. And I'm not going to work over the top of the black coffee. And using the ginger gold, I work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. And lastly, I join in the moon rock and work one single crochet into each of the last four stitches. And we're going to continue using those same colours for a few rows. So that's row 6 done. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn our work. We work one single crochet into each of the four, first four stitches. Then we change to the ginger gold and work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. So put your hook into the stitch, take your ginger gold over the top and bring it through and then just work a single crochet into the next four. And then we change to the black coffee and work one single crochet into each of the following six stitches. So take the black coffee over the top, put your hook into the next stitch and bring the black coffee through and work a single crochet into each of the next six stitches. And if your stitch is a bit loose, you can just pull it a bit tight, but not too tight. And then we change to the 179, the topaz, and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For a join single crochet put your hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We have three loops on our hook then put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. So that's row seven done. For row eight we start with one chain 
and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into the next stitch. Then we change to the 162 the black coffee and work one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. Then we change to the ginger gold and we work one single crochet into each of the following three stitches. And then we change to the moon rock and work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. and change to the ginger gold and work one single crochet into each of the following four stitches. Then we change to the black coffee and work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. And then change to the topaz and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last three stitches. So put the hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on our hook then we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. And that's row 9 complete. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches.
and then one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. Then we're going to change to the 383, the ginger gold. We don't use the black coffee anymore. And we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the following four stitches. So what I'd normally do is put the yarn around the hook with the same colour as I've been using. So I'll put the yarn around the hook with the topaz and put my hook into the next stitch and then I'd bring up the next colour, so the ginger gold and then put the yarn around my hook with the ginger gold and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. So that was my first stitch. I need one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Now I'm going to change to the moon rock and work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So I'll start with the ginger gold still and then bring up the moon rock. So I needed a half double crochet into each of the next two stitches as well. And then I work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. So I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, and then yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. And that's row 10 done. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. We change to the 383, the ginger gold, and work one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Then we change to the topaz and we're going to work a joined single crochet over the remaining stitches. And we fasten off. And we can fasten off all our cotton now. So that's the head part done. So I'll weave in those ends. I'm going to work a neatening row from the back of the head up and around to about here. So I join to this first stitch on the side there.
and work one chain. I work a single crochet in that same stitch as a chain and I'm going to work one or two single crochet into each stitch up around the head till I get to the top of the nose there. I'm going to crochet over the top of the tail Now if you'd prefer, you could have crocheted over the ta tails from around the head, just the ones on this side. But I wove them in because it just makes it easier for you to see. Now I'm going to work one slip stitch in each stitch around the nose and down to 12 stitches before the neatening row started. So just a slip stitch, you put your hook in to the stitch, bring up a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. When I'm getting near, I'll just count back So I'm 12 stitches from the end now So I work 3 chain I'm working this little part of shading 
just under the head there. I work one double crochet in the same stitch as a chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK turns. You put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook. Take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook. Hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And one single crochet into each of the following two stitches. Slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. And that's the head done. Now for the arms, we join our 179, the topaz, to the top of the double crochet there. And work one chain. We work a single crochet in that same stitch as a chain. And then one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. One half double crochet into each of the following three stitches. I work into the bottom of the slip stitch there. And then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then we join in the moon rock. So I put the topaz, the yarn around the hook and put the hook into the next stitch and then bring up a loop of moon rock and then continue with the moon rock and I work one double crochet into each of the last two stitches. We've got baby magpies in the front yard and they make an awful racket when they want to be fed. So that's row one done. For row two we start with three chain and work one double crochet into each of the first two stitches. And then we change to the topaz and work one double crochet into each of the following two stitches. Then work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches.
and one single crochet into each of the following four stitches. And work two single crochet in the next stitch. Now we're going to work eight chain. That's for the arm. For row three, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. And then one single crochet in the first stitch on the main piece. And then one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. One double crochet into each of the following three stitches. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. And then we change to the moon rock and work one double crochet into the next stitch. So I use my topaz as the first part of the stitch. And then work a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. For a joined double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. For row four, we start with three chain. And work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. And then we change to the topaz and work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. So I leave my moon rock now and just use the, the topaz, but I don't fasten it off. So a single crochet into each of the next three stitches. 
one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And then one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. And we work a joined single crochet over the, those last two stitches. And we fasten off the topaz. Now we're going to continue using the moon rock. So I just bring a loop through at the top. Just bring it through like that. And we work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. And then we work two treble into the next stitch. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. You put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook and hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. So we need another treble into that same stitch. Then we work one treble into the following stitch. Two double crochet into the next stitch. And one double crochet into the following stitch. Then two double crochet into the next stitch. and one double crochet into the following stitch. Then work one half double crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into the following stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. And that's a head and arm done, except for a neatening row. We'll work a neatening row from the head, just round the arms. So I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back with the moon rock and I'll work the neatening row. Now we're going to work a neatening row from the neck around to the head. 
So I've got my 154 the moon rock and I join in this stitch here the first one of the black coffee. And I'm going to work a join slip stitch over the next two stitches. So I put the hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and take it straight through the loops on the hook. And then I work one slip stitch into each stitch around the arm until I get back to the moon rock. And then work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches on the moon rock. Now we're going to give it a little bit of a furry effect. So we work two chain and a single crochet in the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that around till we get to the head. So two chain and a single crochet in the next stitch. Right around till we get to the head. And once we get back to the head, we fasten off. And that's the head and the arms done. Now for the eye, I've got my 110, the black, and I make a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you feel most comfortable. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. I put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle and there's my magic loop. Then I work one chain 
and I work eight single crochet into my circle. I pull my circle tight so I take hold of the tail and just ease it in. And I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So that's stitched there next to the chain. And then I join in my white. So I just put a loop over my hook and bring it through. And I work one chain. And I work one single crochet into each stitch around. I don't want my eye to get too much fuller, so I'm only going to work one single crochet. I'm going to crochet over the top of the two tails, not the one from the middle though. So using the white just a single crochet in each stitch around and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And I'll need to pull the circle in a bit so it will sit flatter. So that's the eye done. Now for this ear at the back, I've got my 254, the moon rock, and I make a magic loop. I work one chain, and into the magic loop I work one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one single crochet and I pull my circle tight. For row two I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row three I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. And for row four, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. And I fasten off the moon rock. Now for the neatening row, I join in the 179, the topaz. Just into the last row there and work one chain. I work one single crochet into each stitch along the bottom.
and I'm going to work one slip stitch into each stitch around the rest of the ear. and fasten off. And that's the back ear done. For this front ear, I've got my 162 The Black Coffee and I make a magic loop. And work one chain. Into the circle I work one single crochet one half double crochet and one single crochet and I pull the circle tight. For row two I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row 3 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 4 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 5 I start with 1 chain and turn, I work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and work a joined single crochet in the same stitch as the last part of the joined single crochet and the last stitch. And then I work 3 chain. For row 6 I miss 1 chain and work 1 slip stitch into each of the remaining 2 chain. And then I slip stitch in the first stitch of row 5. And then I work 4 chain. I miss 1 chain and work 1 single crochet into each remaining chain. Now for the neatening row we join our 106 of Snow White to the point here that we worked the single crochet. So at that point there. And we're going to work a slip stitch in each stitch down this point and then up this next section and down to the main part of the ear. So one slip stitch into each stitch.
and then we join in the 179, the topaz, and we're going to work a slip stitch into each stitch around to where we fastened off the ear. So just around to there before we start going up the point. So a slip stitch into each stitch. My fingers aren't bending very well today. The, my arthritis is very bad. And once we get back to where we fastened off our ear, we fasten off the topaz and we can fasten off the white as well. And that's the front ear done. Now for the body, I'm going to start in this section here. It's worked in a circle for the first bit. So I've got my 162, the black coffee, and I make a magic loop. For row one, I work one chain and work six single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight, as tight as I can, and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For row two, I start with one chain and I work two single crochet in that first stitch with the chain, and then two single crochet into each stitch around, we'll have 12 stitches. And we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and we work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and two single crochet into the next stitch. And we'll repeat that right around and we'll have 16 stitches. So one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and two single crochet into the following stitch. And then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and two in the following and just repeat that.
and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain and it's work the same. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and two single crochet in the next stitch and repeat that one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and two single crochet in the following stitch all the way round. We should have 21 stitches. And we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. Now row 5 has worked the same. We start with one chain and work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and two in the next stitch. And repeat that around. We should have 28 stitches. If you're slightly out, it really doesn't matter. And join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. Now for row 6 we don't work a chain. We work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now we're going to work two half double crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet into the following stitch six times. So two half double crochet into the next stitch and one into the following stitch six times.
Then we work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. And slip stitch into the following stitch. And we turn our work. For row 7, we slip stitch, we miss the slip stitch and we slip stitch in the last single crochet. And then we work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Then we work two half double crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches three times. So two half double crochet into the next stitch. And one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And we repeat that two more times. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. And one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And then one more time. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. And one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. Then work two double crochet into the next stitch. One treble into each of the next three stitches. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. Put the yarn around the hook twice at the beginning of the stitch. Then we're going to work a joined treble over the last two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. Then put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, Yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. We've got three loops on our hook, we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through the remaining loops. Now we're going to join in our topaz but we'll be using this cotton later on so I'll just attach a marker if I can get it to work. My fingers are so bad today. Just on there so it doesn't pull out but you could just pull your cotton out. Now I'll be back with the topaz and we'll join it in. Now we're going to join in the 179, the topaz in the seventh stitch from the end. So this stitch here. And I'll be crocheting over the tail. I work one chain and work one single crochet into the next stitch, so not the same stitch as a chain. I'll work two half double crochet into the following stitch.
one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, a double crochet as a treble, using UK terms. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Two treble into the following stitch. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Two half double crochet into the following stitch. One single crochet into each of the next three stitches. And one slip stitch into each of the following three stitches. And fasten off. I've taken the stitch marker off because it was annoying banging against my mat. Now the next thing I do is join my 254, the moon rock, four stitches along row eight. So this stitch here and I work one slip stitch in each stitch. And I fasten the moon rock off. Next we'll work this row here. So I've got my 383, the ginger gold, and I join the stitch before the topaz. So on the brown, the dark brown, that stitch there. And I work one chain. Then I work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now I'm crocheting over the top of the tail of the ginger gold. Then I work one half double crochet into the following stitch. And I'm going to work two double crochet into the next stitch but into the topaz. So this stitch here, I'm not going to work into my slip stitch. I want this row of slip stitch to show up. So I'm working into the back there. So two double crochet into that stitch. Then I work 
two treble into each of the next three stitches. So a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice. So into the topaz stitches again. Then we work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. We're working into the topaz for the whole row. So one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And one single crochet into each remaining stitch of the topaz. and we fasten off. Next we join our moon rock to the stitch before the start of row 10. So on the brown, this stitch here. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch along the top of the ginger gold. So a single crochet into each stitch. And we fasten off. And that's up to row 11 done. I might just weave in some of those ends and then I'll be back with my black and we'll work the row of black and white and then another row of black. 
Next we're going to join the 110, the black, to the stitch before the start of the previous row. So the one on the dark brown, just in there. And we work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. Then we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two half double crochet into the following stitch five times. So one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two half double crochet into the following stitch. And we repeat that four more times. One half double crochet into each of the next two and two into the following stitch. Now I've got a few stitches left. I work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, a single crochet into the next stitch and slip stitch in the following stitch and fasten off. Now I'm going to use this 162 that I've left attached. So I pull it in and I work three chain. I work one double crochet in the first stitch. And I've got two stitches left. I work one half double crochet into each of those. Then I work a slip stitch in the second stitch along row 12. So that's stitch there. I miss one stitch on row 12 and work a slip stitch in the following stitch and turn my work. And I work two half double crochet into the first stitch. and a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. And then I'll pull my cotton out because I'll need that again soon. So that's up to row 14 done. Next we're going to join the 106, the snow white to the last dark brown stitch. So just in there.
and we work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches on the black Then we work one half double crochet in the next stitch and two half double crochet in the following stitch eight times. So one half double crochet in the next stitch and two half double crochet in the following stitch and repeat that seven more times. Then work one single crochet into the next stitch and a slip stitch into each remaining stitch and fasten off. Now we're going to use the 162 the black coffee again. So I'll join in there and I work two chain and turn. I work one half double crochet into each of the two stitches. and slip stitch into the second stitch of row 15. Then I slip stitch into the next stitch of row 15 and turn. And for row 17 I work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. And I'll pull that out again. I'll use that for this last brown row. Now I've got my 110, the black, and I join it to the last dark brown stitch before the white. And I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch of the white to the second last stitch. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left.
and slip stitch in the next stitch and fasten off. Now we're going to work with our 162, the black coffee, and we're going to work one single crochet into each of the first four stitches of our black. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. Then one half double crochet into each of the following three stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. Then work one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. A single crochet into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the following stitch. And we can fasten off the black copy. Now I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with the topaz and we'll work the rest of the body. Next we're going to join our 179, the topaz, 10 stitches along from the start of row 19. So row 19 starts there across from the black, so about 10 stitches up. So about there, it doesn't have to be exact, all chipmunks are different, so just somewhere around there. And work one slip stitch into the next stitch, a single crochet into each of the following two stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch. Two half double crochet into the following stitch. And one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch. And we'll repeat that till we have two stitches left. So one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch. Until we have two stitches left.
and then slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. Next we join the 110 row, the black, just up from where our initial circle ends. So uh, probably across from where we first started the topaz. So I'm going to join in about there. Where our tail is will depend on this neatening row. And we're going to just work one slip stitch in each stitch to the end of the topaz there, just for an, a bit of an evening row. And then we fasten off. Now the last thing for the body is joining our white somewhere along here, halfway or maybe a bit closer to the other end. Now I just join in on the topaz, so through those stitches there. And I'll work a slip stitch into the next stitch and then one single crochet into each remaining stitch, working into the topaz. and we fasten off. And that's the body done. I'll neaten along part of the body once I've put the tail on. So I'll be back with my 116 and we'll work the tail, but first I'll weave in these ends.
Now for the tail, I join my 162, the black coffee, five stitches before the black of the neatening row. So about there. And I work one chain. I work two single crochet in the same stitch as a chain and then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. row two we start with one chain and turn we work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches and one half double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each remaining stitch. row 7 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches and one half double crochet into each remaining stitch. For row 8 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch, 2 double crochet into the following stitch. and one double crochet into each stitch to the end. Now 
and that's the top part of the tail done. I'm going to work on the side of the tail now. So I start with two chain and I'm working down the side towards the body. So I work one half double crochet into each of the first two stitches. So just find a suitable place to put your hook. And then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. And that's the first part of the tail. We'll do this end part now, so we're going to join in our 383, the ginger gold. and work one chain. And we turn our work and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. We've got a family of magpies come in to steal the cat food and the babies are very noisy at the moment, demanding food. For row four, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. And for row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And fasten off. And that's the tail done, except for the neatening row. I'll weave in those ends so it's easier for you to see. And I'll be back and we'll work a neatening row just around the tail. Now to neaten the tail, I've got my 383, the ginger gold. And I join it just at the bottom there of the start of the ginger gold. And I'll work two chain and then work a single crochet in the next stitch. And then I work two chain and work a single crochet in the following stitch. And I'll repeat that around the ginger gold section. Two chain and a single crochet into the next stitch and then two chain, a single crochet into the following stitch. Now I'm almost to the black coffee so I work two chain and I'll join in the black coffee, so I'll put my hook into the next stitch and join in the black coffee and work the single crochet. And then just repeat two chain and a single crochet into the next stitch down to the bottom of the tail.
and at the end of the row we slip stitch into the last stitch and fasten off. Now I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with my topaz and I'll work a neatening row and the legs. You could use your ginger gold if you prefer or even the moon rock. It's, it's up to you what colour you use. Now for the tummy neatening row, I'll be using my 179 the topaz but use whatever colour you'd like and if you'd prefer not to weave in your ends, you could just do a neatening row right down and crochet over the top of them because most of this section is going to be covered by the head. I'm just going to join in the white there. And I'll work one chain and a single crochet in the same stitch as a chain. And I'm going to work fur like I did around the tail. Just the two chain and single crochet in the next stitch. And repeat that two chain and work a single crochet in the next stitch. And I'm going to work like that down to where I want the legs to be attached. So mine is going to bend forward like that and the legs will be attached about there. So I'll be working to about seven stitches before the tail. But just see where you want to put your legs. So mine will come up there and work to there. Now that's my neatening row complete, so I'll fasten that off. And that's the body and the tail complete. The last things I do is work the legs. For this back leg, I start with three chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. Now rows 2 to 11 will work the same. I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. 
So that was rows 2 to 11. Now that's my 11 rows done. For row 12 I start with 6 chain. And slip stitch in the first stitch. That's the first of the toes done. Then I work 6 chain. And slip stitch in that same stitch. Then I slip stitch into the next stitch and work 6 chain. And slip stitch into the same stitch. And work 6 chain. And slip stitch into the same stitch. And that's the back leg done except for a neatening row. I'm going to work one slip stitch into each stitch round to the beginning of row 12. So at the bottom of the first toe. So just a slip stitch into each stitch. And once I get back to the bottom of the toe, I fasten off. And when I weave in the ends, I weave across the toes to hold them in, like that. Just weave through them all. Now this far back leg is worked nearly the same as the back leg, except two rows less. So we start with three chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the remaining two chain.
rows two to nine are worked the same. We work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. So that was rows two to nine, one chain and turn and one single crochet into each stitch. Now that's the first nine rows. For row 10 we start with six chain and slip stitch into the first stitch. Then work six chain and slip stitch into the same stitch. We slip stitch into the next stitch and work six chain. And slip stitch into that same stitch and work six chain. And slip stitch into that same stitch. The neatening row is worked the same as the other one. We work one slip stitch into each stitch around to the bottom of the first toe. First toe. So I'll work that and I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. And there's my pieces. I've got the body, the two ears, the head and arm, the eye and the two back legs. The first things I'll do is embroider a row of, I'll use moon rock just round the outside of the black and I'm going to embroider on little tiny fingers so just two little lines in the ridge of the rows of crochet at the end of the arm. The next thing I'll do is I'll embroider this tiny little white dot in the middle of the eye and then Using the white, I'll attach it to the head. It goes about there. I've got some brown round the bottom and just at the front. So, just in there. The next thing I'll do is attach the front ear. It goes up against the eye. About there. I don't attach the lot. I'll stitch it around to about the white and I'll probably add a few little spikes of white fur in this corner as well. Next I'm going to embroider some dark brown between that line around the eye and the outside of the eye on both sides. So just a few stitches on each side across from each other and I'll attach the back ear in behind the head there about there. The next thing I'll do is attach the head to the body. It bends forward so probably about there and I need some space for the legs to go in underneath so they'll fit in there but I'll attach the head on first. Next I attach the back legs. I attach the longer one in first in about there and then the other leg 
goes in be behind. They just overlap slightly. And the one is slightly shorter than the other. So in about there. The last thing I'm going to do is embroider fur markings on this round section and on the tail. I'll use a different colour than the fur on the end of the tail and around the edge and for the rest of it I'll use the same colour as the tail. You could use the same cotton as the applique or you could use sewing thread if you prefer. And there's the finished chipmunk. The finished size is 15 centimetres by 18 centimetres or 6 inches by 7 inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details on my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.